I decided to do the course because I had heard so much good feedback. It's an internationally recognised qualification that's accepted worldwide. It's a course we teach at RMIT, but it's actually uh, a British Council accredited course. Um, and during the course, we, we, we get assessed ourselves. They come and they assess the course and make sure we're doing everything correctly and dotting our I's and crossing our T's as the course goes. So it's, um, it's a very standardised course across the world. Anything else? Was there something wrong with the roof? Yeah, yeah. And the roof needed to? be mended. It's a very challenging course. Uh, it tries all your current knowledge, provides a lot of additional uh, knowledge and skills and gives you the opportunity to test them uh, both theoretically and practically on an everyday basis. What else can we clean? Kitchen. Kitchen, yes. The trainees mostly come from Australia, but we do get the odd occasional trainee from places like Russia, um, some from Britain, um, we've had trainees from, from China before, so um, they all come with a, with a good standard of English and a, and a basic knowledge of how English works. The course is um, between four weeks, uh, if it's done full time, and 15 weeks if it's, if it's done part time. A big part of the course is teaching practice, so um, during the course the trainees will take part in nine teaching practices where basically they have to teach a group of foreign students and they will be assessed as they go. So one of the, one of the teacher trainers will sit in, in and observe them and give them feedback on their class and focus on areas that they need to improve and also focus on the positives you know, and the good bits of their classes. Basically because the, te the trainees are, are teachers in training, the, uh, we don't charge the students to come to the courses. Um, and they come um, and because they really got some kind of motivation to learn English. And they do come from all over the world. I mean, um, just today for example we had students from Hungary, France, uh, from Korea. Instead of to think, I think it is too cold. Is there another word I can use instead of I think. I've been working with them for almost two weeks now and even within those two weeks I can notice a change in the students. One girl in particular who I have personally interviewed, her ability to speak and write has improved within these past two weeks. They learn the basic skills of how to do things like give instructions, um, how to teach grammar, how to teach vocabulary. I mean if you really want to break it up, um, you could get well, in, in general, what normally happens is in the morning, they have their input session. So that's when they do theory, uh, and that's when they learn about how to teach. Then in the afternoon, they, they teach the students. Now, they wouldn't necessarily teach every day, but every two to three days, they'd be in front of the class. If you're interested in teaching international students how to speak English and helping them in those early stages of them coming to Australia and early stages of their education, this course will more than prepare you. The staff are very skilled and very committed and can guide you at a very, very rapid speed to improve your skills and to gain the knowledge you require.